Pow, pow. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video. In this one, we are going to talk about ticket symbol EH, Ehang Holding. This is a Chinese based company that uh, focuses on autonomous area vehicle technology. So they service different industries like uh, transportation, logistics, smart cities, and area management. So they, they are actually involved in the design, development, manufacturing, sales, and operation of area uh, autonomous area vehicles. So that's what I want us to talk in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So this is a, a Chinese-based company. Again, like I said, their core business is that they're trying to solve the problem of urban air mobility. So for you to be able to fly a drone from your house to work or just around town. In, again, commutes that's going to take you maybe two, three, four miles, you can actually use your drone to go to those uh, destinations. So that's why this company is solving. I don't think there's anything that I really need to tell you um, as far as that. So the company has been on my radar for a while here. And if I bring the charts here, you can see that the company was trading at, they've actually hit a high, uh, that was just February 12th of $127. Because I did trade this stock uh, in the past when they were like, like 70 I did trade it, but I never really bought it because I was like, oh, this is too expensive. But then the stock just kept going up. So I just I was just complaining to myself, like I missed my opportunity. I never should have sold. I probably should have held that in my long term portfolio. But then this past week, we had a crazy report. Let me bring this up here. So Wolfpack Research actually put out a detailed uh, report on them. And, and Wolfpack Research is a short seller firm. So they put out their report about um, uh, Ehang, and it was terrible. I mean, for the most part, everything that they said in that report, if it's true, this company uh, really deserved everything that happened to the stock. So, I mean, I'm going to just put a link in the description. You guys can definitely go check it out. They actually have a video that actually shows you the guy walking around the factory and um, whatever they see there. So... Again, I'm gonna put it so you can you can go watch this and judge for yourself. Um, I know the the company actually responded, but their response was just like, "Hey, we're gonna take care of things. We're gonna try to fix stuff." So again, this company when they IPO'd, see if you can see here, it went from thirteen dollars all the way to a high of one twenty four, but the high was actually one twenty seven. So it even gone higher than that. It pulled it all the way down to look at that to a low of about forty six dollars. So. This is, I mean, like from one twenty-seven down to forty-six dollars when that report came out. So I did trade it this again when it came down to one forty-six. I got in here, um, it squeezed all the way up to like sixty something. I sold and got out early just to sit there and watch it go all the way to seventy something, and then pull back. And then since then, it's just been hovering around uh, right now, sitting somewhere at about sixty-two dollars uh, and some change. But I, to me, when I look at it, it's like if, if it took that massive bidding and it's finding support around this 50 something uh, dollars, I think this is a great opportunity. Again, for me, guys, this is a very, very risky play. I'm looking at this report. Like I said, if everything that um, this Wolfpack actually said in the report is true, then this company has some cleanup to do, like massive, massive cleanup to do. But we've seen companies that have taken a bidding like this from short sellers and then come out strong. So that's what I'm anticipating with these guys, because if he went from 127 and then find support about 57, 58, I think to me, I'm going to pick up some shares here. Again, this is a risky play, guys. Don't go and jump in this one. Then it collapsed tomorrow. You complain. If you get into this play, do me, do yourself a favor. Put a very tight stop loss because we don't want to mess around with this one. There is an opportunity here. If this thing squeezes back up and we can even go test 70 or 80, you're going to be sitting pretty good. But if it pulls back again, then we don't want to be in a situation where we're, we're holding it back. So put a very tight stop loss because we want to go up. We don't want to go down with this one. If it has to go down, sell and then buy the dip again. So that would be my personal uh, play here. That's the way I'm going to approach this so you can decide for yourself. But again, I like the fact that the company uh, you know, put out a, a statement refuting some of the, the claims in that report 
But again, if if some of those things are true, they have some really serious cleanup to do. As you can see here, they're talking about their manufacturing facility. So I don't know which of the facility this report actually went to and visited because they said the, the, the facility they went to doesn't there was nobody there, it was just empty. Um they just walking around with see those drones just sitting there, no one to talk to. But uh, again, here they're saying that they have this uh, facility that is almost completed. So maybe they went to the wrong facility. Who knows? We'll see um, as things uh, unfold here. So I still definitely like it. I'm looking at it hey, anywhere. If I see anywhere around, like even right now, I'm probably going to start my position at about uh, 55 or so. And then just hold and see. Again, I'm going to start with a very small position. I'm not going big on this one. Um, I know if, I mean, if it's squeezed back up, I'm, I'll probably cry like, man, I wish I went big. But uh, I, I don't want to put myself in a situation where, uh, you know, I'm like not sleeping at night because I have a particular stock. Because this one is high risk, high reward. In my opinion, this is the future. Um, we're going to get to this point. Is it going to happen tomorrow, in the next month, in the next year? Probably not. There are so many regulations that have to go in place. Uh, as a matter of fact, we're still struggling with autonomous vehicles on the ground. We haven't even figured that one out. I don't think that getting to the sky would be that easy. But companies that are laying the groundwork and doing the research right now position themselves to be leaders in the space. So that's why I think I, I like this one. I want to hold some shares of it and see where it goes from there. So let me know in the comment section uh, what you guys think. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. And also, Weibo is doing a promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get free stocks. Links in the description below. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated.